Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. Today we will show you how we test diodes and lasers before we ship them and before we assemble them. Let's turn this unit on. We can set up voltage and maximum current. So let's turn 4.4 volts and the maximum current of 15 amps. So we already set up and let's launch the laser diode and see its uh, power consumption. Okay, you see the voltage is 4.39 and the maximum current is 4 or 5.3 and it's increasing. So we turned it off because we do not want to overheat the laser diode. It uh, consumes more current when it gets hotter. So this is how we test all laser diodes before we start assembling process. Next step is when the laser is ready we will measure voltage and current that goes to a laser driver and let's measure laser power with two different devices. So with the help of these two devices we are measuring relative laser power efficiency. Okay, we're all set. Let's test our 8.5 watt laser. Okay, we are ready. Let's start and do our measurements. As you see, the voltage is 11.7 uh, volts, 4.4 amps. So total power consumption is 51 watt and the maximum peak power was 5.3 uh, heat power. So this is like two times less than total optical power which is probably closer to 10 watt for 8.5 watt laser. And you can see that these parameters are relatively stable, they are decreasing a little bit uh, but still in a range that means that the laser can work continuously without losing its power. Let's measure another 8.5 watt laser. Put on goggles and let's start. You see the power is increasing. 4.5 amps, 52 watts, a little bit more powerful, like one watt more powerful than the previous one. And as you can see, the maximum power a little bit less than in the previous laser, but uh, heat power is relatively stable, so it's a little bit dropping, but still in range. So 4.7, 4.6. Let's multiply it on two, and we get about. Uh, 9.2 watts power so this is really good for that laser let's repeat the test so 4.4 watt 4.3 so multiply on 2 so we get more than 8 watt laser power Let's do measurement with another device. It is 8.6 watt power. So here is another experiment. This is 8.5 watt laser, supposed to be. And we have an advanced cooling system and the parameters are pretty much the same uh, like 4.7 volts and 4.2 amps power consumption and as you can see the laser is working stable but it's not going to touch to hit 8 watt laser so this is probably closer to 7 watt laser so as you can see here that's why this laser diode is not so powerful. It doesn't lose its power, though. 
but uh, it's not considered to be 8.5 watt laser. We'll sell it probably something like 5.6 or 8 watt laser. Okay, now next laser is 10 watt laser. Let's turn it on and measure. So this is 9 watt. So this one is not heating 10 watt laser, it's only 9 watt, so a little bit less powerful. Let's check out other parameters, 4.4 amps, 29 watts, and still does not heat 10 watt, so we're going to fix it and maybe replace the diode. So we have a, our infrared camera, so we can find out if the laser gets hot and we can also see the spot, the temperature of the beam inside the, our measurement device. Okay, let's try another 10 watt laser. Turn it on. As you can see, it's growing really, really rapidly. So this one, wow, 11.4 watt, and the power consumption is 4.7 amps, 32 watts. Very, very stable. Dropping to 11 watts, and now it's stable. So, we show you an infrared camera. How does it look like? The laser diode. So, the temperature is 38 Celsius, so pretty good. Let's measure another laser, 10 watt laser, with a laser box. Let's turn it on. Okay, so we can see parameters. So 10 watt laser. Okay, let's see the diode temperature. So it's pretty stable. Okay, so we can see the spot. So it's 60 Celsius. As you can see, the power is stable. It's 11.6 Watt and it's still increasing. Okay, in the final test of 10 Watt plus laser. Let's turn it on. Very, very bright light. And let's see the measurements. So 2.8 amps, 33 watts. So it is 11 watts of pure energy. Here you can see our tech cooling. So it is 42 Celsius, and in the up we see our colder part of the laser and here is our tech cooling. As you can see laser power is very stable, it's not overheated. Four point eight volts and almost seven amps. Very very stable laser power output. 4.8 volts and 7 amps. And the temperature is very stable. 
let's do another measurement. Turn the watch. And it's very, very stable. 